I'm hanging around, looking down at the ground, gonna tighten my hat in case I go splat. No. Yeah, that should do the trick. Can I tempt you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I wonder where Norman's got to. <laughs> I, I I hope he's all right. Oh, he's probably hiding. One of his little games wants us to find him. Norman! Norman Price! He can't be far. Fancy making a wish, then? Uh, OK. Uh, here goes. Well, what did you wish for? Oh, I can't tell you that, Dillis. The wish won't come true. Oh, go on. <laughs> no. I want you to tell me. Oh, just tell her what you wished for and get me out of here! It speaks! The well of wish it speaks! It's me, ma'am! I'm stuck! Norman! Uh, I'd better call Fireman Sam. Norman Price stuck down the old well? Boy stuck down the well near the valley path. Quick as you can, Sam. He could be short on food. We can't use the A-frame to lower us down. It's still on top of the trading tower. It'll take too long to get it. Looks like you'll have to abseil down the well, Sam. Good luck, mate. Keep your strength up. Ah, um, thanks, ma'am. Almost there now, Penny. It's Sam! He's here! Get him out, Sam! Oh, say you will! Of course I will, Dillis. OK, Penny, you secure the rope to that signpost. I'll check on Norman. OK, Norman! I'm going to abseil into the well to get you out. Front door, Sam. Nice and easy, Sam. Oh, isn't he brave? Uh, uh. Mind about that, Norman. Very tasty. Sausage time! Wow! This is a gas canister. Some barbecues use gas instead of charcoal to cook lovely, scrumptious sausages on. Uh, don't you have to keep canisters away from the fire, sir? That's right, Sam. If they get too hot, they can explode. Is it nearly time to go to the barbecue yet? Well, who's the barbecue champion of Ponty Pandy? Oh, it's so difficult to decide. I'm still hungry. Maybe I should eat a bit more. Then I'd really know which one tasted best. And we'd like some too. We're starving. Oh, no worries, Bronwyn. I can cook you up some king prawns faster than Trevor can cook his sausages. We'll see about that. Just turn up the gas and I can cook even faster. Wow. That's very clever. It's not that clever. All I have to do is put on some more charcoal and I can cook faster too. No problem for me. I just turn up my gas to the max. I'll just put all the charcoal on in one go. Then I'll really be cooking. I'll show you who's the barbecue champion of Ponty Pandy. Ah, uh, mate, I think you might have overdone it. Huh? Oh! Oh, no! Stand back, Norman! Oh, we'd better call Fireman Sam. Oh, Tre Trevor Evans' barbecue has set fire to a tree. There's a barbecue blaze at the picnic area. I hope you are all paying attention in this morning's lesson. Well, Elvis, 
It looks like you'll be eating those sausages sooner than you thought. I just hope there's some left. I think we're going to need two hoses for this one, Penny. Okay, Sam. Okay, Elvis, turn on the water. <laughs> Sam, look, there's one of those gas canisters. It might explode. Well spotted, Elvis. Keep everyone at a safe distance while we get the blaze under control. Right you are, Sam. Oh, oh, that's upstairs. Um, oh, I know, I'll tape up the pipe. Ah, get off! I'm getting all stuck up! Uh, ha -ha. I, I can use that bucket to bail out the water! Oh no! I was supposed to fix that earlier! And now I'm trapped! One potato, two potato, three potato, four! Potato more, four mix of chips, and so do many more. Yes, uh, well done, Dillis. That's odd. I thought Mike could be here by now, setting up for his big duo with Elvis. It could always do another one. Maybe we should check up on Mike instead. He was fixing a leak for me. Oh, I think you and Leek might have got a bit worse, Bronwyn. We can't open the door. Mike was supposed to fix the handle. B Bronwyn? I is that you? Help! Help me! I I'm trapped in the cellar with Lion and it's filling up with water! <gasps> Lion? Oh, I'd better call Fireman Sam! Lion's trapped in a flooded basement and Mike's in there with him. Well, get me out of here, and we'll go and rescue him. Uh, uh, the door seems to be stuck. Penny's right. I can't move it either. I could always use the axe. No, no, no. Uh, don't worry about me. Go and rescue Mike. The public always comes first. Well, if you're sure, sir. Come on, then. Let's go. Good luck. <laughs> I hope Mike's okay. I need him to sing harmony with me. Don't worry, Elvis. I'm sure he'll be as good as ever. Follow me. Right, he's in here, is he? Okay, Mike, I need you to stand back. I'm going to break the door down with my axe. R right you are, Sam. Jump in here, Lion. It'll keep you dry. I wonder how many Mandy did catch. <laughs> Apart from her whale, a starfish, a crab. Is that all? <laughs> ah! Shark! Here's Sam. Go on, Penny, you better get down there. Lead on, Mandy. Oh, I hope the wheel is all right. Are you sure it's not a shark? Yes, it's a wheel. And wheels are gentle creatures, Norman. Sam, how are we going to get it back into the sea? High tide is hours away. Oh, I know. We can roll it in. It's too heavy, Norman. I get hurt, silly. It will be okay, won't it, Sam? Have I ever let you down, Mandy? No. We're going to need Neptune, Penny. Okay, Sam. 
Hello, Tom. Okay. Pretend you are putting out a big fire. I mean a really big one. Oh, ah, uh, like this? Could you maybe put a bit more oomph into it? Get out, fire! Get out! <laughs> That's it. Uh, what about using the fire axe next? I can slide down the pole if you'd like. <laughs> <gasps> Excellent. Good idea. Ooh, good. You belong. It's time now, Mandy. Time for me to get on with all my little jobs. Help! I'm stuck! Norman! Uh oh, someone else in trouble. Help! Mom! I can't move my feet! Oh my! What have you gone and done now? It's the quick drying cement. It only takes a few minutes to set. Don't worry, Norman. I'll get you out. Sorry, Mum. All I ask for is a bit of peace and quiet. That sounds like a smoke alarm. And that sounds like an aerosol can. Oh! My shop! I'll ring for the fire brigade. Dennis, stop! You must never enter a burning building. Don't worry, Sam. I'll go home and phone from there. It'll be quicker for me to run back to the station and get help. Hurry, Sam! Oh. Sorry, James. Emergency. I'll bring it right back. Wow. Oh, I don't understand it. I thought we'd be rushed off our feet today. Oh, dear. Now that's not a very dignified way for a firefighter to spend his day off. No time to explain, sir. There's a fire at Dillis's supermarket. A fire? Oh, action stations at last. I'd love to have a go on one of these. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you are back, Sam. Wow! Look at all that smoke. It smells like summer meadows. Elvis, switch the electricity off. OK, Sam. Shame all fires don't smell this nice, eh, Penny? Sam was right. Greedar's a brilliant rescue dog, not a sheep dog at all. Oh. Radar, 
What are you doing here? Where's Mandy and Norman? Is something wrong? I'm going to call Fireman Sam. Norman and Mandy in trouble? Ooh! Radar has come back to the Nuts house by himself. Helen thinks there's been some kind of accident. If I know Radar, it must be serious. Tell Helen to keep Radar there. We're on our way. That was close. I wonder if those sheep have got something to do with the emergency. Any idea where Mandy and Norman were going, Helen? Mandy said just over the fields. Oh. Radar wants us to follow. I'll take the ambulance. Somebody might be hurt. Mike's van! Well done, Radar! You did it! Mike! Are you okay? I I'm fine, Helen. I just can't get out. The passenger door is still stuck. Oh, Mike! Okay, everyone, stand well back. Penny, run a hose round to the front of Mike's van in case anything catches fire. We'll have to cut you free, Mike. Penny, fetch the jaws of life. How did it happen? Something to do with a couple of runaway sheep, I shouldn't wonder. Yes, I was trying to herd them into their pen. With radar, eh? I said he wasn't a sheepdog. I know. Here, Mike. Give me your hand. Oh. Oh. This house. He walked right through the wall and into the living room. Then he went up to the window and took off his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, no, no. And he's standing there now, staring at you. Go on. I dare you to turn around and look. OK. Oh, it's on fire! Call Fireman Sam! Ooh, a, a fire at Mike Flood's house? There's a fire at the Flood's house, quick as you can! Is it Mike Flood's bonfire, sir? Probably. I expect it's got out of control. We're supposed to be going there after we come off duty. Yes, so uh, I might as well come with you. Well... The bonfire, is it, Mike? No, the fire's in the sitting room. Breathing apparatus on then, men. <sighs> the fire's out. You were lucky it wasn't worse. Thanks, Sam. Thanks so much. Do you know how it started? 
It was my fault. I put a cloth over the pumpkin to make it look like the ghost of Ponty Pandy. And actually, Sam, I left the candle burning. <sighs> you shouldn't go out and leave a candle burning. And you should never put a cloth over a naked flame. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I just wanted to win the spooking competition, that's all. It was an accident, Norman. We understand. But I'm afraid the fire's made quite a lot of mess. I'll clear it all up. I'll help. And me. Why don't we all help? Great. Thanks, everyone. And remember, Norman, there's a time and a place for spooking people. Oh, ow! And I lost my fish! I'll have to call for help. Again! An accident at sea! Oh, it's the Joneses. It's the Jones family yet again. They're stranded in Charlie's boat. Off you go, Penny. I really don't think you're well enough for this, Penny. Uh, perhaps I should go instead, sir. Sorry, Cridlington, but Penny's the expert here. She'll have to take Neptune. Look, I'll do this one last emergency. Then I'll go home. OK. I've never heard it's so busy. It's no good, Radar. I can't stay away a moment longer. You can do this, Penny. You can do this. You can do it. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I'm putting everyone at risk. OK, Penny, just stay where you are. Help is on its way. Elvis, tell Tom to bring the helicopter down to the quayside. I'll get Sam to meet him there. Will do, sir. Sam! Yes, sir? Ah! What? Oh, my word, that was quick. I'm reporting for duty, sir. What's the emergency? Why has Neptune stopped? Something's wrong. What's the matter? Are you hurt? No. I think I got a fever. Uh, uh, Let's get you off here. Sorry for the delay. Penny's been taken ill. Will she be OK? She'll be fine. Now, let's get that propeller untangled and tow you back to shore. I'm so sorry. I should have stayed at home today. I'll show them who's the best pirate in Ponty Pandy. Good riddance! What about the pirate's picnic? Leave that to me, me hearty. <laughs> Ooh, a meal for steel. <laughs> ah! Ooh, shoo! Take your eyes off my tuna sandwich. Don't you boys make better pirates? Let's plunder that treasure, James. Feels heavier. Let's get it back to the skiff. Great idea, Mandy. Yes. They're going to get a shock when they open the pirates' picnic, Captain Sarah. <laughs> Are you sure we should go out alone, Captain? 
boy! The sea we calm, and the girls will never get to us out here. It's what proper pirates do. <sighs> you know, I'm tired out. Me too. <sighs> so I'll be taking a pirate's nap. War. Now, go home! Uh, yes, top, top! Hello, sir. Got a new friend? No, Sam. I've got a pest. <laughs> he thinks he's the fire station cat, Sam. <laughs> Come on, Lion. Let's get you home. <laughs> Lion, no! Radar won't hurt you. Oh, dear. Oh, well done, Cridlington. I'll get him out, sir. Here, puss, 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 puss. What we need is some food to draw him out, sir. Good thinking, Sam. Yes, something fishy. Absolutely. But I haven't been shopping. The fridge is empty. <laughs> ah. Have you got anything fishy, sir? Ah, uh, there's always my sandwiches, I suppose. <laughs> Picnic! Uh, oh, rocks! Norman, wake up! Oh, what? What? No wonder the hamper was heavy. Those sneaky girls filled it with rocks. Never mind the picnic. Where are we? Right. I think that's the lot. Well done, everyone. You've all worked very hard. Tea. Great. Got any cookies? Come on, pioneers. I know I lost the map and we forgot lunch. You forgot the lunch. But we're having a laugh, aren't we? <clears throat> well, uh, you'll be glad to know I've left the best to the end. Ta-da! Wow! Cool! A zip wire! <laughs> See, I told you this was going to be fun. Sam set this up earlier to give you all a treat. Actually, if Sam was here, he'd show us how to do it first. Would he? Absolutely. A good pioneer leader always goes first. You're not scared, are you, Trevor? Because if you are, I could always go first and be the leader. No, Norman. I'll do it. Calm, Trevor. You're not scared of heights. You can do this, boy. Mustn't let the kids down. Just attach the safety wire. OK, here I go. One, two, three. Oh! 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 Oh, no! Help! I'm stuck. Get me down. Oh, dear. in the rescue centre and tell Tom. He'll call Fireman Sam. Hang on, Trevor! I'm going for help! Tom! Tom! Oh, no. I'd better try and call for help. Um, uh, hello? Hello? Fireman Sam! Fireman Sam! Who's that? Norman Price! Norman Price? What are you playing at? What? Trevor in trouble? OK, we're on our way. I can't hang on much longer. Fireman Sam is on his way. OK, Trevor. Let go and we'll catch you! That was the ladder's broken! Uh, then how am I going to get down? I'll go and ask Mum to get some help. Oh, Charlie! Thank goodness! Oh, 
I'm calling Fireman Sam. Trouble out at sea. Another one. Great fires of London. Norman, Dillis and Charlie are drifting in the bay. Hold on. And Station Officer Steele is stuck on the flood's roof. Oh, oh dear. I wonder if he's been trying to fly his kite. <laughs> Penny and I will take Venus and launch Neptune. Elvis, you take Jupiter and go to the floods. Right too, Sam. <laughs> Charlie's boat. Okay, Sam. And I'll tie you to Neptune, Charlie. We should be ashore in no time. Oh, I can't wait to get my feet back on dry land. Don't worry, sir. I'll have you down in a jiffy. Uh, here we go. I'll hold it steady. Are you all right, Station Officer Steele? Of course I'm all right. I'm fine. All in a day's work, you know. Uh, testing out this kite. Uh, would you like me to take this to your, um, <clears throat> nephew, sir? Certainly not. Um, uh, actually it's mine. Nothing to be ashamed of, sir. Uh, what? Ah! Uh, uh, oh, no! My head's stuck! Help! Help! Somebody! Anybody! Help! Left a bit. Right a bit. Shall I come up and help Sam? I can manage just fine, thanks, sir. Don't you worry, Mike. I'll have you down in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Which reminds me of the time that a sheep got stuck up the top of a church steeple. Yes. I was just driving past, and I saw him like this. Oh, can't you just jiggle your head out, Treasure? I've tried, ma'am. It's his ears, you see. Oh, Norman, you have more trouble than a monkey on a moped. I think it's time we called for Fireman Sam. Yes, I did remember to wear my extra thick vest today. No, I got to go, ma'am. Uh, Norman's got his head stuck in some railings. Oh, 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 oh. Nearly there, Mike. Steady! Let's haste more speed. Easy does it. What's that? Another emergency? A boy with his head stuck in the railings? Don't worry, I can deal with this one on my own. And unless you need me to stay here and help. No! Uh, you go, sir. We can finish off here. Sam, uh, before we go down, uh, could I just finish putting up my aerial? Let me through. Give the officer some space here. Norman Price. Uh, I might have known. Hello, station officer Steele. Please help my boy. Do you think you can get him free? 
step back over there and give me some room, please. Reminds me of a boy who once got his head stuck in a farm gate. Except he was jammed in more like this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Help me. No, I'm stuck. Yes, pull me out. Oh, oh, ah, no. Don't touch that, sir. It's his ears, you see. They're even bigger than mine. Oh, this is ridiculous. We need proper help. It's been a bad, bad day Ooh. from the moment I awoke. Ooh. I lost my hat, tripped over my cat, and then my leg got broke. Help! Oh, listen! Someone's shouting! I better call Fireman Sam. Ooh, an emergency flare from the cliffs. Tom has sighted an emergency flare, Sam. Somebody must be in trouble on the cliffs. Tom will meet you there in the chopper. Goodness, there's Tom. Here's Fireman Sam! It's Penny! She's stuck at the cliff! You have to help her! Don't worry, Mandy. We'll save her. Tom, lower the double harness! No worry, Sam. Coming right up. Off the lead down. OK, Tom. Take it up. Slowly now. And well done for not letting it off. Congratulations, Mandy. You're a hero. Oh, uh, well, I said right from the start that we shouldn't let it off. No way. After all, it's not the firework, you know. It's time for the flower and vegetable show to begin. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Tomato, but I don't think you'll win first prize now. Afternoon, everyone. Yes. Where's my tomato plant, Elvis? Ah, well, I've, uh, I've, I've put her in the shade so she doesn't dry up, sir. Ooh, smart thinking, Cridlington. Hello, everyone. Where do we put our mustard and crass, Mike? Over here, please, Bromwyn. When is Sam going to do the judging? He's just rolling up the hoses at the fire station, but he'll be along very soon. <clears throat> OK, gather round, everyone. <clears throat> I'd like to welcome you all to my flower <gasps> and vegetable show. <laughs> Thank you. I've spent a lot of time planning this event, and I'm proud to say... Dad! Dad! The compost heap! Don't interrupt, Mandy. Uh, I'm proud to say that all my hard work... Dad! 
I don't believe it! Oh, call Fireman Sam! A composty fire of the floods. have gone to the flower and vegetable show. That's where we're going too. Leave it to the professionals. Sam and Penny are on their way. Stop that now! Sam and Penny. I had no idea a compost heap could be so dangerous. That's why I advised Mike to dig it over and let it cool down. Trevor Evans and the Ponty Pandy children haven't returned from their school trip. Action station! Maybe we should call Tom Thomas, sir. I was just about to suggest that, Sam. Jupiter calling Tom Thomas. Go ahead, Sam. If you're in the air, Tom, can you keep a lookout for Trevor Evans' bus? Roddy ho, Sam. Tom Thomas calling Fireman Sam. Come in, Sam. Receiving you loud and clear, Tom. I've located the bus, Sam, up on the Valley Pass. Oh, looks like Trevor skidded off the road and got stuck. It's really foggy down there. Thanks, Tom. We're on our way. I hope everyone stayed on the bus, Elvis. You could easily get lost out there. Yeah, you wouldn't catch me wandering about out there in the day, let alone at night. Oh, oh that sounds like Tom's helicopter. Here! Yeah. I'm over here! Please! Oh, he doesn't realise I'm lost! Norman? Is that you mucking about? Okay, uh, let's get you back on the road. Um, where's Trevor? He went for help. Such bravery. He left the bus. I'll see if I can reach him. There's no signal. Trevor could be anywhere out there. Elvis, could you attach the tow rope to the bus while I call Tom? Right to Sam. Tom, it's Sam. Trevor Evans is out here somewhere. We're going to need your help to find him. I worry, Sam. But I'm going to need someone up here with me. You can count on me, Tom. OK, Sam. We're ready. Oh! Oh! oh, oh we're free. Shame we haven't got a driver. I've got a dog. A big one, see? Woof! Woof! Ah! Oh! Oh! Hang on, Sam. <gasps> Trees hit by lightning? We'd better get there quickly or we'll have a forest fire on our hands. Better give Tom a call. Good idea, Sam. Pity we don't have Cridlington here. We could use all the help we can get. Where 
Where's that bus? Hey, can I have your autograph, Elvis? Oh, uh, sure, James. Oh, I see you've got Sam's name on here, too. Yeah. Well, he does save people every day. And he gets to drive around in Jupiter. Still, no more of that for you, eh? Uh, no, I suppose not. Sam! Stop! What's the emergency? There's some trees on fire in the forest. We're worried it might spread. Oh, it sounds serious. Maybe I should come along and help. Well, what about your TV show? Uh, uh, I'm a fireman first, remember? It's Fireman Sam. And here comes Tom. Cool. Everybody okay? I'm feeling a bit weak. Uh, a sandwich might help. Oh, not now, Norman. I guess it's too late to get to your TV show now. Not if you go by helicopter. Jump in, Elvis! Wow! Fantastic! Just like a real superstar! Elvis! Wait! Don't forget this! Good luck! We'll all be watching you! Thanks! I'll be back on duty tomorrow morning! It's a scarlet crested waggle warbler. Don't move, Norman. Ah, uh, I think I might be a bit lost. Um, which way is the right way? I'm sure I've been past that log before. Wait a minute. That looks like a red flower. It's just some old cloth. Oh, help! Oh! Oh! Help! Help! I'll show Mum how tidy Derek is. Wait a minute. Stink bombs? A fake fly? And if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> a surprise snake. Classic. Naughty old Derek. Underneath all that neat and tidiness, he's a joker just like me. Maybe he's not as bad as I thought. I hope he's back soon so we can play with all this stuff. Actually, he's been gone for a long time. I hope he's okay. Maybe I shouldn't have made up that story about the Ponty Pandy Pansy. What if he's stuck in the mountains? He might be in danger. Oh, I'd better get Mum to call Fireman Sam. He'll know what to do. Norman Price's cousin is lost in the mountains. Oh, the cake will have to wait. Boy lost in the mountains. Norman Price thinks he knows where he is. So, can you stop by the Cup Price supermarket and pick him up, Sam? Taken Derek this way. He must be around here somewhere. We best turn the siren off in case he's calling for help. Help! 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 Oh, listen, I think I can hear him. Going to run. 
rescue you! Fish! Aye, aye, sir! Not a bite all afternoon. Bronwyn is going to be disappointed. Oh, well. We'd better be heading back. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good, Charlie. The fuel tank's empty. It's a good job I keep a spare can in the cabin. I got one! Ha! Oh. Ha -ha! Well, um, really to then station officer steel. Stay back, Charlie. I'll secure the area. Aim this at the base of the fire. Good work, Charlie. Ooh, the engine's burnt out. Looks like we'll have to call for help. Fire at sea. Charlie and Station Officer Steele adrift. You're with me, Penny. You stay here and man the station, Elvis. There's a fire at sea. OK, Sam. Good luck. Hold tight, Sam! Hello, Charlie. What happened here, then? It's all my fault, I'm afraid, Sam. You may not be the best sailor in the world, but when we needed a calm head in a crisis, you were the man for the job. Oh. And it looks like you've got to catch. Ooh. What a whopper! Yes, took an age to land it. Why don't you bring it back to the cafe? There's enough for everyone. <gasps> Great idea. Um, hello, hello, hello. Station officer Steel, are you there? I don't think he can hear me. Yes, Elvis. You have to push the button down when you talk and take it off again when you finished. Oh, right you are. In Hibbert Street. I repeat, Norman Price is stuck up a tree in Hibbert Street. Oh, did you hear that? I bet I could rescue Norman. I'm not sure. Sounds a bit dangerous, James. Ah, not for Fireman James. I just need to borrow Dad's ladder. James, I don't know how you did it, but you beat us to it again. Well done. Thanks, Sam. But you need to remember to be careful when you rescue people. Some jobs need to be done by trained professionals. OK, Fireman Sam. Ooh, time for lunch. Floods fry up. 
Now let's see. I'll have some tomatoes, bacon, ooh, and some sausages. Oh, oh, hey, no, no! Ah, I think I'm gonna call Bob and Sam. Set fire to his kitchen. There's a fire in the stuff house. We can do care. Yes. They're all out in Jupiter. Um. So I'm just like a real fireman now, thanks to my radio. Oh, there it goes again. Jupiter. I'm not sure you should be listening. Can you hear me? Mike Flood's kitchen is on fire. You need to get there as fast as you can. We're on our way, sir. Fireman James to the rescue! The James! I'd better go and see how Sarah's doing with the gazebo. I've polished the cucumbers, Mrs Price. What's next? That'll be all thanks, James. I need to pop to the whole fish cafe for a nice bit of halibut for my birthday supper. Oh, um, you can't go out, Mrs Price. Uh, there's, um, um, isn't any fish today. No fish? Uh, all of the fish have gone on holiday. See? The fish have gone on holiday? Hmm. I've got some Christmas lights and a CD player and... Oh, get a wiggle on! I thought you'd have it up by now. Norman, these things take time. We'll soon see about that. Hey, let go! Look, give it here! The... Oh. Oh. Well done, Norman Price. Well, this wouldn't have happened if you weren't such a slow coach, pants. That's it! You can put it up on your you meanie. Fine. Go then. We don't need your help, do we, Wooly? Wooly? Uh... Smells like burning. <gasps> oh, no! The cake! Oh, Norman. I better call Fireman Sam. In the flood kitchen. Ooh. Kitchen fire at the flood's house. Action stations, everyone. Right. Now, where am I going to plug this in? Uh... It's the oven, Sam. A cake's caught a light. Don't worry, Mike. We'll take care of it. It's an electrical fire, Elvis. We need to cut the power first over there. Right, oh, Sam. Okay, Sam. Well, I think we can safely say that the cake is baked, Elvis. Oh, yes! At last! Stay calm, Elvis. This is your big moment, boy. Crab Scuttle Cove! Oh, my goodness! It's the best! I'm stranded on the beach at Crab Scuttle Cove! And, 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 and the tide's coming in fast! OK. Penny and I will take Jupiter, contact Tom and tell him we'll meet him there. <laughs> Leave it to me, Sam. And well done, Elvis. Nice work. We'll make a station officer of you yet. Station officer Cridlington. I like it. Maybe we should swim for it. Absolutely not. 
That's far too risky. We'll stay put and wait for help. In 200 yards, stay put and... Everybody, Sam will be here very soon. Oh, my belly. Maybe he's seasick. Oh, my poor precious puppet. Aha! It's Tom Thomas. Help is at hand. Come in, Tom. Good night, Sam. Send down the winch. The bus is nearly underwater. We're going to have to lift everyone off. No problem. I'm lowering the double harness now. Right here, Mandy. You first. Don't be frightened. Frightened? This is awesome. That's it, Tom. Steady now. Cool. I'll go back for the others. Soon have everyone safe and secure. Good work, Sam. Yeah. OK. That's the last one, Tom. Good job. Thanks, Sam. Over and out. That silly satellite navigation system must be faulty or something. You see? You just can't trust all these newfangled gizmos. But we'd never have been rescued without our mobile phones. Well, well apart from mobile phones. What about our walkie-talkies, sir? Yeah, well, obviously, apart from mobile phones and walkie-talkies, but don't you have a computer back at the fire station? Well, yes, yes. Oh, I suppose some modern gadgets do have their uses. Take your hands away from your eyes, Cridlington. You look ridiculous. I just want to get down. Help! Help! It's no good. Tom's not at the rescue centre. I can see his helicopter over by the fire station. I know. Um, oh, I've got an idea. No, Norman, I've had enough of your ideas. I'm going to do my idea this time. Well, hurry up. My arms are aching. I'm going to fly an SOS message all the way to Ponty Pandy. But you're not allowed to fly the plane in Ponty Pandy. But this is an emergency, Norman. I don't want to be in the air anymore. What are we going to do? Emergency situations call for emergency measures. Elvis, remember Dolly. She needs you to rescue her. Oh, Dolly, of course. I forgot all about her. Um, OK, Sam, Elvis to the rescue. Here I come, Dolly. Uh, e easy does it. What's that? Great fires of London! That'll be James Jones's plane again! <laughs> OK, Sam. It's all right, Dolly. I'll make sure you're safe first. Don't get off! <laughs> gotcha. Well done, Elvis! Oh, hey, there's a note. Oh, dear. James and Norman are stuck up a tree. We'd better get Tom to get you down quickly, Elvis. Penny, you man the station. I'd like to give James his plane back personally. Rescue them the same way we rescue Dolly. Not this time, Elvis. We need to rescue Norman quickly. Then James, you bring the tarpaulin, and I'll bring the ladder. <laughs> no problem, Sam. Hurry! I can't hold on for much longer. 
Just let go, Norman. We'll catch you. Uh, whoa! Oh. <laughs> Given up already, Norman. <laughs> uh, no, just giving you a head start. Yeah, come on, Elvis. It's this way. Oh. Stop coming, yeah. James. That's it. That's you. That's pushing. You're pushing. You're fine. <laughs> and Mum and Sam will be miles behind. Well, that was a rotten trick. Like I said, there's no way I'm going to lose this race. Store. You always get more at the cut price store. You always get more at the cut price store. <laughs> oh, oh. Easy peasy. <sighs> but the sign said this way. You always get more at the cut price store. You always get more at the cut price store. Oh, yoo-hoo! Here. I thought you said you and Mam would be miles behind. Come on, I know a shortcut. Hey, I don't like all this cheating, Norman. I call it winning. Come on. You always get more at the cut price store. You always get more at the cut price store. Oh. Well, oh. Norman and Mandy didn't hang around. We can, though, can't we? They can't hobble another step. Okay. Let's rest here for a bit. Hey! I thought you were ahead of us. <gasps> so did we! <laughs> One of those signs pointed us in the wrong direction. Funny. We got here OK. Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. We are last again. The race isn't over yet, Dillis. Who knows what might happen? Oh, I can't walk properly. We should go back. What? And lose? I told you, Mandy, I want my name on that trophy. Ah! Oh! 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 What's wrong? Oh, my foot. It, oh, the pain. I can't untie it. Uh, we'll have to call for help. Uh, help! Uh, help! 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 That sounds like my Norman. It's coming from over there. You always get more at the Cadbury store. You always get more. You always get more at the Cadbury store. No man, are you okay, Puppet? Oh, I've got to hurt you, ma'am. Did you lose your way? That's one way of putting it. Well, if you weren't lost, then Norman Price, you weren't. You weren't. She ten, were you? Yes, ma'am. There you go. Now, where's Woolly? Huh? Ha ha! Don't worry, Woolly. Norman done his way. I see no sheep. Norman! But I can hear Dillis. Disappeared. You don't think he's gone looking for Woolly, do you? Oh, you know how he loves that sheep. Fear not, Dillis. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, uh, I'm sure Penny and Elvis will find him. I'll stay here oh, and keep you company, eh? Oh, thanks, Trevor. But Norman needs me. I'm coming too. Um, OK, Dillis, but you'll have to wear a life jacket. Penny to Sam. I'm going to need your help. Norman Price is out in the flood water. I'm guessing by the field. Right. Uh, I'll stay here, then. Keep a lookout for lions, Sam. I will, Bronwyn. I will. OK. All aboard. Budge up there, lion. I'll soon have you safe and sound. Um, now, keep still, everyone. Oh, um, uh, hey! What? Whoa! Ah! Oh, uh, ah! Ah! Molly, come back! Boy, oh! Shall 
we take another sweep of the area, Sam? No need. Down there, look. Sam to Penny, Norman is in Breaker's Field. He's in the water. As quick as you can. Thanks, Sam. There you go, Norman. Where's Wooly? Oh, phew. You really should have stayed indoors, my lad. A flood is a dangerous situation. Sorry, Station Officer Steele. Yes. But you were very brave for saving Lion, Woolly and Lamikins like that. Yes, he was. Wasn't he, Lion? What? Up there? Yeah, Beat's being stuck behind a rope miles from the action. It's an emergency! There's a high-rise fire! But never fear, here comes Sam, Penny and Elvis to the rescue! Ooh. Oh, this is awesome! James, let's get a bit closer. I can't move. They'll be needing aerial assistance. Aha! Oh, Thomas, it is helicopter. There's two boys on the roof! Looks like they're in trouble. Elvis, we'll need to use Jupiter's ladder for this one. Oh! It's my Norman! And my James! Ah! OK. We'll soon have you back where you belong, boys. In a harvest of shame, ladies and gentlemen, it's Norman Price. Oh, what were you doing up there? Well, James? Sorry. It was my idea. I thought we'd get a better view of the rooftop rescue. You became the rooftop rescue. So there you have it. The reason we put safety first. Fire stations can be dangerous places for little boys. Well done, sir. Your open day was a real success. Yes. <laughs> Radar really has mangled that boot. I wonder whose it is. Uh, it's one of yours, sir. <clears throat> My boots? My boots were used? But how? Red leg turn! It's not as big as I was expecting. Anyway, stand back, everyone. Come on, ma'am. Press this button. <coughs> I name this rocket Ponty Pandy One. Happy landings. Wow! Look at it go! Who was a clever Norman then? So, when's the little parachute going to open? Um, parachute? You mean it hasn't got one for when it comes down? Ah, uh, no. Norman Price! It's heading towards the high street. Oh, no! Oh, quick! Oh, everybody oh, run! Oh, the high street! This is Price's shop! Rodman, call somebody! I'll call Fireman Sam. What? 
out-of-control rocket heading for the high street. Oh, come in, Sam. There's a rocket heading towards the high street. This is not a practice run. Don't launch anything until we get back, Mike. Good job we had that training exercise, eh, Elvis? Yeah. So, where's this other rocket come from, Sam? <gasps> out to space. This has got Norman Price written all over it. So this is your rocket, eh, Norman? Uh, no, yes, it was an accident! OK, but right now I need to know how you made your rocket. Is it made from anything dangerous? I, I can't remember. I just did what it said in here. Uh, just more of it. Hmm. You're sure you didn't put anything else in there? No, just that stuff. Lots of it. It's a simple bottle rocket. It's just a very big one. I think it's all going to be OK. I'm sorry. I thought I could build a rocket that was as cool as Mike's. Mike has spent years learning all about rockets and how to build them safely. It's not something you can learn in a day. I know, Sam. And now I've ruined Mike's launch, too. Not necessarily. Once we've made sure the shop is safe, there'll still be time to get up to the cliffs. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out So move aside, make way for Fireman Sam Cause he's gonna save the day 